South Africa has become a pivotal magnet for foreign investment in recent years. After the countries of this continent were able to achieve unprecedented rates of economic growth, South Africa's economy is the largest industrialized economy on the African continent. In this video, we will show you the biggest current and future projects in South Africa. But first, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. That the observatory is able to determine the coordinates of objects and to identify the objects that have been entered into the system's database to determine the nature and velocities of space waste. Issuance of coordination information to the data collection and processing center. The observatory will also conduct independent research to detect objects at distances between 120 and 40,000 kilometers. It can detect space objects up to 18 degree brightness. The Russian Observatory in South Africa is the second of four specialized optoelectronic observatories. It was created for the Russian Automated Warning System for Dangerous Situations in Near-Earth Space. Through this project to expand cooperation with BRICS countries in the space sector. Solar energy in South Africa includes both solar cells and CSP plants. Several solar power plants were established in the previous years, including the Jasper plant with a total capacity of 96 megawatts. It is one of the largest solar power plants in Africa. Saves energy for 30,000 homes. South Africa expects electric capacity to exceed 8,400 megawatts in 2030. South Africa has pledged to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in building infrastructure, which will create thousands of jobs. South Africa has committed to investing $6.1 billion in an infrastructure fund over the next 10 years. $20.78 billion will be allocated to the private sector. 62 infrastructure development projects have been approved. By the end of 2021, many bridges will be built across the country. 400 bridges are scheduled to be built over the next three years. These projects will add about 8,000 jobs. The Redstone CSP plant generates 100 megawatts of electricity. It is the world's first funded project to generate concentrated solar power using molten salt, which forms part of the REIPA procurement program for renewable energy in South Africa. It is one of the largest investments in South Africa under the umbrella of this program. This station will provide a 12-hour full load thermal energy storage period. It will be able to provide electricity to more than 200,000 homes in South Africa. Google announced its intention to operate its third internet cable under the sea, which will link Europe and South Africa. One for this cable will be terminated in Portugal. While the cable will pass through Morocco, it will pass along the African coast to South Africa, with stops in other countries. The Portuguese South African portion of the cable will be commissioned in 2021. The network capacity will be about 20 times more than the last cable designed to serve this area. France's Total and its partners will resume the drilling project in Block B-12B, off the coast of South Africa. Total marine exploration resources were provided off the coast of South Africa. It can contain about a billion barrels. The find has been described as very large, probably. South Africa has launched a new investment plan to extend the lifespan of the continent's only nuclear reactor. In order to remedy the situation regarding the shortage of electricity, the first steam generator, out of six, arrived at Coburg Station. These generators, each weighing 380 tons dash it is part of the Eskom plan, which has a total cost of more than $1.2 billion. The station will continue to operate after 2024. The launch of the new Mulekluf Mega City project, to be built in East Pretoria, has been announced. The total value of the project is more than 84 billion reals. 
It is one of 62 Strategic Integrated Projects SIPs, published in the official Gazette at the end of July. The first phase of the project is housing projects. About 50,000 sectional title units are planned. Once completed, Mulekluf Megacity could become the largest real estate development project in the world. The land is for schools, shops and offices. The project is being built in line with green building principles. This development will also create around 41,000 jobs at a time when they are most needed. Green hydrogen represents an important opportunity for South Africa. The country is striving to be a reliable source of sustainable energy and chemical products exports. New investment in green hydrogen also gives South Africa additional business opportunities. This project supports the transition to a carbon-neutral economy. This enhances the chances of GDP growth and brings benefits to the citizens. South Africa has significant resources of the platinum group metals. It is used in electrolysis necessary to separate hydrogen from water. The project is being developed by Equipower Saudi Arabia. A concentrated solar power plant is being built in the Northern Cape province, where a large number of clean energy projects are concentrated. The project will provide electricity to 200,000 households in South Africa, with clean and reliable energy. The project helps reduce approximately 480,000 tons of carbon annually. Equipower plans to complete the implementation and start commercial operation of the project in the last quarter of 2023 is to build an innovative, sustainable and green smart city. It is designed to interact with nature to ensure minimal environmental impact. The city will be built around Lanseria International Airport north of Johannesburg, on a project that could take about 25 years to complete. Lanseria International Airport is located in the center of the project. It will be the main economic driver of the city's growth. New city dwellers be able to walk to work, malls, or schools. Within between 5 minutes, 400 meters, and 10 minutes, 800 meters. The city will be built on smart technologies and systems in a beneficial way. With modern mobile infrastructure, Wi-Fi, information networks and high-speed broadband connectivity, this is the largest project in South Africa.